Hey everybody, Racer52 here. This is my latest attempt at a DIY electronic symbol. This one is a two-zone ride with a bow area, this area here, a bow area, and a bell zone. The underside of the symbol has piezos mounted in the bell area. I put one on each side for equal sensing whether I'm striking the right or left side of the bell. We got one piezo for the bow area and I have a choke switch along the bottom here which squeeze that shorts together the rim, the uh, ring and the shield. The schematics for this are on the Roland website also at my listing at photo bucket. So here we have everything wired from the bottom side. This is taped on with a little bit of shoe goo to help make sure it stays in place. I can squeeze this and make the contact. I use some copper conductive tape that has an adhesive that conducts so I just simply taped the lead from the piezo to the symbol, let the symbol be the circuit and then picked it up again underneath this metal bracket on the surface symbol and brought it to the shield. Similarly, uh, the bell triggers are taped to the bell so that makes an electrical connection and then from there that goes through the symbol and up to the ring and or no, these go to the uh, shield and then these leads here go to the ring so my choke goes through here. It's on the same ring circuit, so I just tied it in with the piezos. And all the common stuff goes to the shield or the sleeve of the TRS jack. So this gives me one zone here, one zone there on the bow, one zone on the bell, and a choke. Now let's see what that's going to sound like. On the surface it's covered with a plastic automotive type finish adhesive that's used for a rock guard. They put it on headlights. They put it on rocker panels for as a chip guard for the paint. as a 3M product from the automotive industry. First I'd like to show you the stick noise of the symbol before I turn on the electronics. And you can see just lightly dropping the stick and you can see triggering on the TD20. I am coming in on the ride input just using the one cable and the trigger pad selected on the TD20 is the CYR uh, crash, the CY15R which is their ride symbol. The CY15R is a three zone. This is only a two zone but there's no switch on this. It's piezo and piezo. Now a light tap, you notice over here is the rim trigger and a light tap is not triggering the rim but using the shank of the stick does tr trigger the rim. So here's bow and then I'm getting rim which is effectively the bell. So I can play bow and if I tap lightly it's still bow but if I strike with the shoulder the stick it gets a shot a harder shot and I'm not hitting it hard here, here just lightly and ever so lightly harder is the threshold for it to trigger it so if this is nowhere near as hard as whacking a CY15R you gotta whack them about like that so getting good trigger sensing on both sides of the bell um, and you can see also the trigger level just barely touching and the sensitivity can be adjusted in TD20. So very light, just barely touching it all the way up to uh, a maximum signal. And that trigger sensitivity levels are selectable in the TD20. But those using the tip of the stick and, and striking that hard, you know, you got to start, end up striking pretty hard before I trigger the rim. I'm really hitting it pretty hard before it triggers it like that. But if I use the heavy part of the stick, 
doesn't take near as much effort to get that same signal strength. So it is that still that strong of a signal, it's just taking less effort to do it by doing like that. I'm going to try some different piezos on the bottom to play with that trigger sensitivity for the bell, which is um, giving these characteristics. Now if we throw in the audio to see what this sounds like going from this to that, I'll just turn on my amplifier. Oh, there is a choke also. So I'm going to turn the amplifier up pretty loud. I can play lightly. And I can go in the board lightly. I'm just barely touching the thing. So I can change the sensitivity on that. So it chokes. If I just hit lightly, as we saw before, I'm not triggering the rim, so I'm not hearing the bell. But if I just drop the stick on it, so it flash. I can whack it hard, or in between. If I can get a good sounding bell, and it's a nice combination of bow and bell, and I'm not whacking the bell like that to get it. I don't know if you heard me. I said I'm not whacking the daylights out of it to get it. So it's picked up nicely. So that's the functionality of the latest creation. Thank you for watching.